Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be looking at the Last and Stones Vertical Epic Series. This is the 12 12 12. It's finally here. Can't believe it. Uh, this beer has come out well before 12 12 12, but uh, they, it, they bottled it actually. I think I saw a date of November 8th, I believe it was. So let's get this open and poured. This year's Vertical Epic is a spice sort of Belgian double style beer. Um, definitely pretty dark. It actually it's pouring out like a porter. This is going to be the final time I'm using my Vertical Epic glass for a review. Uh, let me read you the details on another bottle here. Because there is this is bottle condition, there is yeast on it. But they are adding spices that consist of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, sweet orange peel, clove, only a little, and rose hips. Uh, so interesting stuff. It's a 9% beer. Pours out very dark. Um, there's not a, really any light coming through that at all. I mean, it looks almost like a, a stout. In fact, the head's pretty dark. It kind of has a, a light brown character, kind of a roasted character to it. Pretty nice head on there for 9%. Let's get the aroma. Wow, smells like a spice bomb, certainly. Lots of nutmeg, allspice. Definitely getting some of that floral rose character in there. The cinnamon's not overly prominent. Um, slight citrus tinge, but not much. I'm mostly getting that nutmeg, allspice, and rose hips on the nose. And not, not really, maybe a little bit of a malt sweetness, but not too much. But uh, let's give this a try. It's going to be my first time. Cheers. That's nice. It's not overly spicy. It's definitely uh, spice forward. The malt base is, is interesting. You're definitely getting some Belgian double properties, but I'm also getting a porter-like character as well. Being released in December, this is a great holiday type of beer. It, it's very prominent with spices up front. It's the first thing you're hit with. Mostly nutmeg, allspice, like on the aroma. Cinnamon's a little more prominent in the taste. I'd say the rose hips are a little less than the aroma than they are in the flavor. You're getting just this melange of spices up front. Midway through is where that double character comes into play. Getting that you know raisiny dark fruit character along with that caramel you know brown sugary kind of notes in the middle of the palate where there's a lot of sweetness. Along with that Belgian double character midway you get a lot of breadiness. Uh, sweet kind of biscuity toasty bread. And that transitions into this nice sort of milk chocolate, almost in the dark chocolate character on the back end. Maybe a touch of roastiness in there as well. I haven't seen the recipe yet, so I don't know what malts they're using. But it dries out nicely with uh, the Belgian yeast character. It's got a little bit of its own sort of spiciness. It's not overly phenolic, which is nice. I think it works well with the beer. Definitely dries it out nicely after that big sweetness that's sort of up front and then in the middle of the palate. And it, it, it fits well with those chocolate and slight rose characters on the back end. As I drink it more, I'm starting to get more of that floral rose hip and slight citrus tinge from the orange peel. It's working well with the beer. Kind of get a lot of that uh, character on the aftertaste along with the yeast character. Uh, I would say this is my favorite Vertical Epic since the 090909. It, and, it, and it reminds me sort of that beer which was a darker sort of Belgian porter. This one definitely has some porter characteristics to it. Uh, the spice, the melange of spices is really nice as well. It's not completely, it's definitely on the spice forward on the front end, but because of that malt character and the yeast on the back end, it's nicely balanced overall. And uh, apparently they use spices all over the place. They use it in the mash, in the boil, in secondary. And it, it adds this nice, intense, but not overly done spice character to the beer. So I'm actually enjoying this one quite a bit. I'm going to go A- minus with it. I think it's, uh, like I said, one of my favorites. I wasn't uh, a big fan of 11, which I've never reviewed. 10 was, you know, all right fresh and is drinking much better these days. But next you'll see me... I'll probably do 11-11-11 uh, just to kind of see what that's like with over a year on it. And then next thing you know, I'm going to be doing 06 through 12 for, for my vertical epic tasting, which hopefully I'll get the film for you guys. But that's going to wrap it up for the final vertical epic 
12, 12, 12. I recommend it. I think it's a, a nicely balanced, uh, perfect holiday type of beer to end the series with. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.